exported the features to, to a file mm -hmm. files. Then let's say you want to change the name of something. Mm -hmm. And in a flat file, you just do a search and replace, and then you re-import it, and it would implement those changes. Right, and I'll show you this too, but um, features is really smart because It'll, it'll look at what's in your code and use that if there's nothing equivalent in the database. But as soon as you go into views and say, you know, that one field, I didn't need that after all. You know, and you, you take it out. It takes that view and it sticks it in the database like normal. And, it, and then when you go back to your features interface, it says overridden. So you know that, that that one is different than what the feature actually is. So when you get that and you're in your development environment and you're clicking around, you, you build your feature, you can export it, and then... Um, then you, then you work on it some more, you know, you put it maybe into your staging site and people are working on it, or people are checking it out, making sure it works, and you say, you know, I have some better ideas, or they give you some ideas, and you, you go and you put it in, in there. It'll say overridden, because you're back in your development environment, and then you know, you, in fact, you can see what the differences are, and then you can export it again, and then you can upload that, and it's just like a module, just as if you updated CCK, you update the module, and, uh, then it'll uh, it'll update like a module, and then all the changes will be there. But I was actually going back to this earlier question: Can you edit the, the flat text mm -hmm. and then re-import that? Sure. Yeah, you can do that too. It is just it is PHP, just like any other module, and uh, you can edit that text. And it, then when you put it back in there, if if you if you've done any differences, it may actually say overridden, or it'll figure out that something's weird. You can kind of flush a views cache. It, it's not expecting you to do that, but there's no reason why you can't. You might have to flush a cache or something like that. Um, but uh, but that's you can certainly do that. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is right. I, I'm hearing that this will <coughs> features will look in at the configuration for certain modules, mm -hmm. but it's not going to like move over files directory with images and stuff like that. And the database is done separately. Um, now, what happens for the for the modules that it doesn't understand the configuration of? Will it tell you that it skipped those? Um, you, you don't necessarily, okay, when you go and you select it, I think, I think I'll start doing this in a second. I'll answer this, but then we'll go into the demo and we can ask more questions. But you'll see that when you go to uh, save your feature, you decide what you want. There's a huge list of checkboxes. And if there's no checkbox there for, let's just say, the workflow module, hint, then, then you won't see a checkbox there. You know you can't export the workflow stuff. And, uh, and so you just know that it's not there, right? It just, it just ignores it completely um, because there's nothing there to export. What, yeah. It's pretty obvious in the UI. Yeah, in the UI you'll see. So let's let's do this, and then we can we can ask more questions as we're going. All right. You probably want to see that. Okay, this is, I kind of feel like this is magic show, you know. This, here we have a totally fresh Drupal site, except for a couple little modules that I enabled, including features. And also the demonstration site module, which if you don't know about is very useful when you're, you know, giving a demonstration. So um, what I could do here, and what I'll, what I'll pretend to spend, th waste three hours of your time doing is going and creating a bunch of content types, you know, just like you normally would do, creating a bunch of views, um, Creating, uh, uh, I enable, I don't even have those modules enabled, but I, I, don't, I don't need it. But you know, I'll enable these modules, I'll do some five star, I'll build all the stuff that I wanna, that I wanna build. So through the uh, <laughs> magic of the demonstration site. All right, just pretend I wasted three hours of your time. So, nope, that's base, darn it, reset.
Oh, okay. This is kind of like if you ever watch a cooking show where they put in the, the pie that's not baked yet and they reach up and they grab the one that's already baked and say, look how pretty it is, right? That's, that's kind of what I'm doing here. Basically, it stores a, uh, SQL dumps of the whole database um, and lets you name them or overwrite them. Kind of like backup and migrate, but it's meant for, it's kind of meant for a different thing. You know, backup migrate just date stamps it and says, this was the site at this point in this. But what I did when I'm developing this is I used the demonstration site and I, created a, a configuration or a, a, a preset, a, what do they call them, a snapshot. I created a snapshot called configured and then I worked with it some and then I said, oh, you know, I want to do this. So I, I reset um, the, uh, the configured snapshot to reflect, the to reflect the changes that I've done. So this is all just straight um, content type. This is all straight CCK and, uh, and views and other such modules. So let's go in here, I'll show you kind of what I do. Show you kind of what I did here. Um, oh, do I have JavaScript turned off? No. Let's not do that. No, that's on. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Firefox. This seems to be confused. All this, this just is without JavaScript. For some reason, the JavaScript's not loading, and I'm really not sure why. But what we have is a whole bunch of these fields, which if JavaScript was enabled, you'd be able to see a lot better. Um, yeah, so I added a bunch of fields, configured this stuff. Field like uh, producer. Um, and uh, I created some views. kind of in development. I don't think it's as stable as Drupal 6, and I would guarantee you that it will be. Um, absolutely. Well, give me a second here. Let me figure out what we got. So what we'll see here when we actually create this feature um, is uh, this is the features uh, features interface here. The first page um, it comes with kind of a, a test module for for the simple test mo uh, for the simple test. You can you can ignore that. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a feature, and it's it's really just this one form. I mean this is this is a pretty simple kind of uh, pretty simple interface here. So. We'll call it product reviews. Uh, give it a description. Uh, uh, content types views for product. Reviews. Okay. So, what you have here now? Here are all the components. I said here's your big old long checkbox, but we're, we're using JavaScript for this. For some reason, JavaScript works here. So. Um, these are all the different uh, elements that are available to you um, when, you're, when you're creating your feature. Um, what I usually like to start with here is going to content types first, um, because that's usually what, you, what you'll end up creating. I mean, you, you can do just views, but a lot of you, you're usually, usually going to have content types and other stuff along with this as well. So you go and you select, okay, I created this product review content type. 
and look, it found all this stuff. So these are all the things it's going to export for you. Um, so see, we have uh, in CCK the review field. Can you see that? The review field photo, uh, producer, year, uh, rating. Um, C to, um, I'll talk about strong arm in a second. Strong arm is, is important here too, but let me, I'll get to that in a second. Um, image cache presets that I created. Um, and then here's strong arm again, I'll mention that in a second. And then dependencies. So it figured out that just by, create, just by um, selecting that one content type, all of, these, um, all of these modules are now a dependent of what you're going to be creating. Again, features doesn't grab the CCK code like the, the, the actual CCK code. And if you think about it, you really wouldn't want it to. You want CCK to be its own thing. You're just grabbing the configuration, the stuff that you've done. So just by grabbing that, that grabs a lot of stuff. But I actually have, I have some more stuff that I want to grab here too, right? So I also created a view. So we go into views, and here's the view I created. It even sees that. So we select it, and it pops up down there. Views API 2, so that's good. Um, 